of the 2023 Christmas event, the Freezer has finally gotten a long-awaited rework, greatly buffing its DPS and stalling, along with giving it a new powerful ability. In this video, I'll be looking at all of the stat changes, values, and uses of the new Freezer and giving my opinion on how good it is. So hit that like button and subscribe and let's get into it. It used to cost 350 cash to place, build 0 damage, had a fire rate of 3.008, foes enemies for 0.35 to 0.8 seconds depending on how big they are, had 8 range and 0 DPS. The new freezer works differently, gradually increasing the slowness of enemies with each hit. Once they reach max slowness, they freeze temporarily. It costs a total of 450 cash, deals 1 damage, has a fire rate of 0.608, a max slowdown of 45%, 15% slowdown per hit, the slow lasts 3 seconds, enemies stay frozen for 1.5 seconds, it shoots in burst of 1, has a burst cooldown of 0, 10 range, and 1.64 DPS. Yes. Level 1 used to cost a total of 700 cash, deals 0 damage, had a fire rate of 3.008, foes enemies for 0.35 to 1.35 seconds, at 10 range, and 0 DPS. It now costs a total of 600 cash, deals 1 damage, has a fire rate of 0.608, a max slowdown of 60%, 20% slowdown per hit, the slow lasts 3 seconds, enemies stay frozen for 1.5 seconds, it shoots in burst of 1, has a burst cooldown of 0, 12 range, and 1.64 DPS. Level 2 used to cost a total of 1,100 cash, deals 0 damage, had a fire rate of 3.008, foes enemies for 0.35 to 1.35 seconds at a range of 12 and 0 dps and now costs a total of 1225 cash deals 2 damage has a fire rate of 0.608 a max slowdown of 60 percent 20 percent slowdown per hit the slowdown lasts 3 seconds enemies stay frozen for 2 seconds it shoots in burst of 1 has a burst cooldown of 0 12 range and 3.29 dps level 3 used to cost a total of 2500 cash deal 2 damage at a fire rate of 3.008 froze enemies for 0.35 to 1.35 seconds at 12 range and 0.66 dps and now costs a total of 2875 cash deals 2 damage as a fire rate of 0.128, a max slowdown at 75%, 25% slowdown per hit, the slowdown lasts 3 seconds, the enemy stay frozen for 2 seconds, it shoots in burst of 4, has a burst cooldown of 1, 12 range, and 5.29 DPS. Level 4 used to cost a total of 5,000 cash, deal 2 damage at a fire rate of 1.508, froze enemies for 0.35 to 1.35 seconds, at 12 range, and 1.33 DPS. It now costs a total of 7,875 cash, deal 3 damage, as a fire rate of 0.108, a max slowdown at 75%, 25% slowdown per hit, the slowdown lasts 3 seconds, enemies stay frozen for 2 seconds, it shoots in burst of 7, has a burst cooldown of 1, 14 range, and 11.96 DPS. It also gets the frost grenade ability, which freezes up to 5 enemies for 4 seconds. On top of that, it can now also detect hidden enemies. This is the current max level, however, it used to be able to go up to level 5. Level 5 used to cost a total of 11,000 cash, though 2 damage, at a fire rate of 1.008, froze enemies for 0.35 to 1 second, at 14 range, and 1.98 DPS. The 3 biggest changes involve its DPS, freezing, and ability. Let's start by looking at his DPS. Obviously, this has been greatly buffed, going from 1.98 DPS to 11.96 DPS at max level. However, while it can be a little helpful, you should still not be using it for DPS. Its value at max level is 1.52 DPS per 1k spent, which is really bad. You're not going to be using the freezer to take down any bosses. The biggest improvement was to its freezing, being able to stall significantly more enemies. Not only do enemies remain frozen for 2 seconds, the freezer can slow a large amount of enemies if you set it to random. Because the freezer has no placement limit, getting a bunch of them set to random will allow you to freeze pretty much every enemy on the track. Also, its freeze grenade can be really helpful against speedy bosses like the tank, completely immobilizing them for 4 seconds. This allows your towers to shred the boss and lets you focus more money on farms. However, in terms of stalling, I would definitely still say the Frost Blaster is much better. It is able to instantly freeze enemies instead of having to gradually slow them, which is overall more effective at permanently stunning. So, because of this competition, I'm going to rank the Freezer as a B tier. It can be incredibly useful when it comes to stalling enemies, it's not too expensive, and I recommend you check it out. I just feel it's a bit outclassed, which is why I place it in B tier. But, what do you think? Let me know your ranking in the comments below. Also, hit that like button and subscribe to join the Bluehead Mafia. I'll see you guys in the next video.